it's getting darker now in Auckland and one of the things I'm keen to try is riding my bike at night. Now, one of the things which is curious with these giant e-bikes is that there's a headlight lighting control. Hello dog. Um, there's a, there's a, a lighting control up here which you can um, press on and off and it t it, the manual talks about a lighting function and I did a fair bit of research on the net and really couldn't find any information about this at all. Um, so what I'm going to go through is um, figure out what I've, uh, I've learned, um, the research that I've put together and show you how to, to put some lights on your bike. The reason that you know you can do you get a light like this, I think it cost about seven dollars New Zealand delivered. Um, and this one doesn't have a battery. Um, and you've got this massive battery here. Uh, these bat lights actually don't use very much power. Um, but for me, it, the idea is just the convenience of, well, one, being able to have a button that actually does something. Um, but two, um, you're never going to be able to, uh, it's very unlikely that you're going to be on a trail and run out of battery and therefore you lose light. Whereas, um, although you can get a range of really cheap um, and really bright lights that you can put on your helmet um, for a reasonable cost, keeping them charged and in peak condition so that they're actually bright when you're on the trail um, is more, more difficult. So um, let's check out how I'm going to get on with this and see if we can get some bright lights happening on my giant trance E1, E plus, I think it's one of these things. Anyway, let's give it a try. Hit the key, turn the key, get the battery off, a little release to get that out, and then we got to carefully put this somewhere. And then the next thing we need is the security torques um, to get these bolts out from underneath here. These hold the top of the battery mechanism place. Um, be careful to note on here where the ba battery, there's a, this is an adjustable point, um, so it's specific to the um, manufacturing of the bike that uh, they have to ma put the, allow a bit of adjustment um, when they put the battery in place. So we've got these, the two nuts and the base plate. Then we've got the, the lock barrel. So this is actually just a bit loose now, it's not a big problem. Um, and we just undo this with just a finger tight. It's about the core of a turn. Um, and that is this a bit of key for reassembly is that they're two different sizes of um, opening on this so you've got to get it the right way up when you when you put it back on the part. Um, and then this is the top of the battery um, and this has got the key in it for getting the key out and there you go. When you look up here, if we pull it down, we've got this big cable from the battery. So we've got the, this is the key to the, um, to the switches, the handlebar controls um, that, that can come off. Um, and then this here is the lighting connector. Um, so from all the research I found, this is a six volt connection and sure enough when I measured it, it's six volts. Um, Grey is earth and white is positive. The unit comes with a, a silicon cover over this white connector. If I can find the details for this connector, I'll do my best to put it up. And that way, if you can find the opposite parts of this, you don't have to do any cut or clipping of cables. What I've got here is a, a JST connector. And the reason we've got this size is because there's a very small, um, similar to this one up here, the gusset on the other side where we can put the cable through. So keeping it nice and small enables us to feed that cable through and keep everything up here tidy. So that unit is here, it's ready. Uh, so now let's go and put this cable through from the other side. Um, so we've got this light just um, bungeed around the, the handlebars, which is fine, easy peasy. When I got this light, the, this had a standard USB connector. And this was simply a you know, much longer cable. I clipped it off and put this connector on here. And we're gonna put it down here, so let's see if we can um, uh, get the get the cable to just come in nicely um, against the drop dropper seat post. Now that's 
it's going to be quite tidy. Uh, so I've got one sort of connector here, um, and it seems to be reasonably happy in there with that. Um, there's actually uh, a huge amount of space up here in the underneath this um, in this in this in this area up here. So if you're if you're wanting to put a, a USB um, or some sort of Bluetooth device or little power cords, all sorts of things, there's, there really is quite a lot of space up from here from where the top of the battery, uh, which is about here. Um, the rest of this is, is pretty much empty. So, so we've got this all wired back up now, so I'm just going to try and keep this nice and relaxed in here. Um, I was, one of the things you could definitely do is um, put um, heat sink around this, um, or like I say, if we can get hold of the original connectors for this, then you'll have a waterproof setup. Um, I'm just going to go a manual way that um, I'm not going to turn the lights on if I'm going riding in the wet. Um, we'll solve that problem. Um, but the other thing I want to do in this in the future is put um, you know a USB device here so I can um, you know charge the charge the phone, have a, a decent Mac. Before you do these screws up, it's best if you put the, um, just put them in loosely and then put the surround around the key um, first um, and then tighten it up. Now the other thing is if, if you've been riding a bike for a while, you'll see that there's um, some you know, wear marks where the, where the, where the um, top pop was. So get it in there and then we'll, we'll tighten it up a little bit and the key is to, to get the battery, give it a test fit um, and ensure that it's actually going to lock in the right place. So we've got that first stage is that lock is definitely solid and the battery is not going to you know accidentally pop off if you lose you lose the battery down the trail, that's really not good. But we're gonna get that battery on nice and tight and obviously flush with the bodywork. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and just go ahead and do that up. We should have some lights. So, turn the bike on, uh, turn the light button on, and annoyingly this light has got two steps, so I have to sort of provide power to it, and then press the button, and we're good to go.